Here's a video on assembling the Jetson or an aluminum housing. Prepare the above accessories. First unscrew the screws to remove the base of Jetson or a Nano NX. Then remove the PCB antenna of the wireless card. Install the IPEX4 adapter cable on the front side panel when fixing the SMA connector. Unscrew the fixing nut of the adapter cable and lock it on the outside of the front side panel. Connect the other end of the adapter cable to the wireless card on the back. Fix the Jetson or Nano slash NX module to the aluminum bottom case with M2.5 silver screws and simultaneously fix the front plate to the aluminum bottom plate with M3 black flathead screws. Unscrew the nut with the LED button and secure it to the back plate. Insert a jumper cap into the auto-on and DIS pins on the module. Connect the button wires to the PWRBTN slash GND and LED pins on the module. After connecting the button, use M3 black flathead screws to secure the lower part of the back plate to the aluminum bottom case. If you need to connect a camera, secure the camera ribbon cable to the camera interface through the hole on the right side. Ensure that the metal side of the ribbon cable is facing downward. Secure the camera holder bottom mount to the aluminum top case using M2.5 silver screws. Use the provided nylon screw set to secure the camera to the camera holder top mount. Make sure to insert nylon pillars between the camera and the bracket to prevent the camera from short-circuiting. Attach the camera top bracket to the camera bottom bracket with M2 screws. Fix the camera holder top mount onto the camera holder bottom mount and tighten them together using M3 screws. During use, users can loosen the screws to adjust the bracket's angle as needed. Install the aluminum top case onto the bottom case, ensuring the correct orientation. Then, use M3 black flathead screws to securely fasten the upper side of the side panels. Connect the other end of the camera ribbon cable to the camera. And attach the antenna. Users in need can attach non-slip rubber pads to the bottom. That completes the assembly.